Well, it's about 2.30 and it's taking me all day to get here. I have been massacred by mosquitoes trying to launch on a friend of mine's property and the mosquitoes are just way crazy there with the high grass. So I just came down the road over here, West Bay, and put in right here real quick. Just had some family stuff to take care of today and late late start everything's been stacked against me but I have made it to the water today not too sure what the tide is doing I know the wind is blowing out of the north northeast has been blowing pretty good all day I think it's gonna start coming down here in a little while at least that's what I'm hoping for but starting off with the woody cork and voodoo shrimp Last time I was out a few days ago, I skunked, and that was the first time I have skunked in, man, I want to say well over a year, if not close to a year. So I'm looking for some redemption this week. So today I was coming out, no matter what was thrown at me, and there was quite a lot of things thrown at me, but we are here, and I'm thankful that you're here with me too. Don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hopefully you catch me hooking up Oh yeah, nice, nice guy right here. Ooh, he literally just took it. I felt him hit it one time, so I let it fall, and then it fell right, right beside my kayak. And then yeah, I felt him dump, dump, and then I just let him, let him take it. Let me get over here to the side. Try to drop anchor. That was, and that just came out. I, like I said, I didn't even have. I'm gonna set the hook. That was on a haymaker right here. Biting fight angler. It's all twisted up in the net now, but we're gonna tend to the fish and get that out in a second. Let's look at this guy. He, uh, he's a little smaller than I thought, but like he's still gonna be legal size. Let's see. Almost 17 and a half, say 17 and a quarter inch flounder. Pretty, pretty fish right there. Let's take a selfie with them. this guy go he's gonna swim on yep we caught by somebody else all right nice little flatty and basically if you want to catch a flounder it's pretty simple just stay in contact with the bottom of the water or with the bottom of the ground stay in contact with the ground stay in contact with the bottom fishing on bottom flounder to me is one of the easiest fish to catch especially if you're not trying to catch them <laughs> and I mean that because I don't know how many times I was tying on tying off doing something in my kayak and I just left my line sitting there in the water and primarily it's 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 this has happened more so with gope but I left my line sitting in the water and something in a flounder came by and latched on and I've caught my flounder with the gulp, just with the jig head, and just sitting there. So, want to catch flounder, got to stay in contact with the bottom. And as you get closer to the bank or 
the boat or whatever a lot of times you're not even fishing it or touching the bottom if you're retrieving very fast or quick so you got to give your jig head and your lure the time to a chance to hit back on bottom again that way you can fish all the way up to you I don't know how many times I've gotten hit by a fish right next to my kayak sometimes they catch me daydreaming and it's just a hit and they get off or they don't get on at all but sometimes like that um, I'm paying attention and I'm trying to fish it all the way to my kayak to cover more more of that water that underneath water so but that is awesome great fish keep going keep going Or nothing you know again no blow-ups no tails of any fish came out here it's a beautiful West Bay right there finishing this grass line I was throwing that cork with the voodoo shrimp had it taken down a couple times but probably just buy something small Sometimes a red will do that. So you gotta be real subtle and move your lure real slowly and sometimes they'll hit it again, but it didn't. Nothing hit it again. I'll put the cork up. So throwing this haymaker again. Kind of working on bottom four flounder. See if we can get lucky. Oh, sounds like one right here. There it goes. Oh, nope, not a flounder. Not a flounder. Come on, little speck. <laughs> I, was, I didn't want him to get off. I knew he was undersized, but I didn't want him to get off. Wanted to show you guys. Have a fish on, another fish on camera, but he just uh, started walking the water. Walking on the water. Little guy, but still felt good to feel that pool. Really just dropping it, hitting it on bottom, bouncing on the bottom, and he went down and scooped it up. I always fish the grass line. That's a lot of times where you're going to find those predator fish banging out on bait. So that's kind of why I'm right here. In case you're wondering what that big old worm looking thing is, that is a geotube. There's a little back lake right here. I think I'm going to try to scoot in here. If I can get in somehow, get back in there. I think the other day it would have been easier when the water level was super high. There we go, somebody right here. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I thought it was a real good one. I was a flounder. He came up and, and smacked it, little guy. Oh, come on, little guy. He came up and hit it. But I'm not complaining little baby don't want to take too much of his slime off get him back out there but there he is barely missed his eye come on buddy there you go <laughs> cute little guy he was hungry he came up and hit that lure I don't know if you try these biting fun anglers yet but I would definitely recommend trying them especially for this flounder season I'm gonna have to do a little drive pulling uh, put the grass to pull this rudder up water level might just be high enough for me to make it uh, without having to get out and scoot oh yeah we are scooting all right Okay, we are over and in here. Let's see. Do we see any reds? Any signs of reds? Any tailing? Anything? You know, I didn't see anything last time either. We're just blind casting. 
and we got into them. I see bait. I see boils. Hoping for something bigger back here, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Through quite a few stuff. There's a lot of grass on the bottom. I didn't realize so every time I put a swim bait on, it was I was pulling up a lot of grass. Went through a top water. And uh still nobody wanted it. Hope it'll keep coming the route you are, buddy. You end up in there with me. Molly jumping. But there we go. Oh my goodness, this is a good trout. That's a good trout. That's a good speck. Oh no, it's a small speck. I thought it was bigger than that. Oh my goodness. I thought it was bigger than that. But it looks like he's gonna be a keeper. Regardless. So he just just got that voodoo shrimp and that woody cork. Voodoo shrimp in the mouth. Woody cork action popping. It looks like he might just be in that 15 inch range. But we're gonna see anyway. We're gonna look just for fun. Man, I thought he was bigger than that. I just got so excited. No, he's gonna be short. Oh well, wow, let's go and put him properly on the board then. So we can really yeah, he made it. 15 and a quarter. Oh, I need that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for the bad release there. That was a little bit of a we're gonna cut that out right there. That's gonna be a an edit. But nice to nice for all that hard work pop and payoff. Got a got a slot spec, although he barely was slot, but it's still Well, it's about six o'clock. I'm not quite at the launch yet, but I want to give myself a little time to unload before the sun goes down. Looks like I'm gonna be out of daylight. So not wanting to have to load in the dark because I like I said forgot my headlamp and my other lights so don't want to do it in the dark but hey you know what I came out today got a quick little trip out here on the water I was trying to get that slot red so I can get that Texas slam but it just didn't happen for me I was able to get it out here on the water after a crappy day so that's always great and it's always good and I appreciate you guys coming back and watching and supporting the channel. If you haven't, please hit subscribe, push that bell notification, let you know next time I upload a video. To everybody else, thank you very much for your support again. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.